that's where you guys met, right? On, on the set of Family Ties. Yeah. Right. I have a picture exactly. of you guys from, from, from back in the day. Look at that. How cute. <laughs> Future best couple. Oh, come on. How cute. That's, that's, that's you're, very, you're very smirky. Well, you're still, you're still pretending to be shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> you were helping him out. Yeah. I was like, you're still bending the knees. <laughs> actually, where it's like, I don't do that anymore. No, no yeah, 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 right? You're yeah. married you're to little guys exactly. Yeah. Did you guys know each other before this? No. no. Oh, really? Have you heard of each other? No. <laughs> Not now, I mean, back then. I, Tracy had heard of me, but hadn't met me, hadn't seen any of my work. And I knew she was a theater actress from New York, so I had to be, And I was like this hack, comedic guy from <laughs> L.A. And I, I thought, doubt that you were a hack. I'm please. I'm going to be a lot of pressure, but she was great. Was this Back I, to the Future? No, so what happened was I had, I had been asked to come in and screen test for Family Ties. Yeah. But I had never watched the show. And I actually... Not had a, heard not his a fan. name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. And so, Back to the Future had just come out, and I thought, well, I better go watch it because I have no idea like yeah, who he is and what if he, you know. Really? So I went by myself. I sat down at the theater on 86th Street, and I saw it, and I thought, oh, this guy actually, like, maybe has a future. So, <laughs> 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 that is the best. Maybe, yeah. You think? And then uh, here you are, is it 30 years later? Yeah. 30 years. Holy moly, congratulations. That is amazing. That is amazing. Do you have any, uh, I know your family, I'm uh, lucky enough to, to have met your kids and they're all awesome, yes. by the way. You did a great Thank job you. raising them. Uh, any secrets for anyone for keeping a marriage strong for 30 years? Well, I have the glib one, which I feel funny saying because my daughters are in the audience, but I keep the sex dirty and the fights clean. There you go, okay, buddy. <laughs> They're so happy. Right <laughs> the kids, they're so embarrassed of dad right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, they just walked out. They just walked out of the audience. They just walked out. They're so like, Dad, I can't believe you said that. So gross. Uh, is literally like that. I know. Uh, I keep the sex dirty and the fights clean. Uh, I love it. Uh, today is World Parkinson's Day. Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. you know that. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Could you tell everybody what you're doing after this? Uh? Well, I'm not doing. I'm, I, I mis maybe misunderstood me. I'm not going over there. But they're lighting the Empire State Building up oh. in orange tonight for the foundation. They are. Yeah. So, so cool. if you see the Empire State Building, it's orange. It's because of World Parkinson's Day. Yeah. So, uh, Uh, Michael, can we talk about the, the, the foundation, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, everything you're doing for Parkinson's? How much money have you, have you raised for this? Well, it's unbelievable, but since we began 20 years ago, we've raised $800 million. For $800 million. That's unbelievable. And what, 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 what is the next things? Or what, well, what we're hoping to do, obviously, our, our ultimate goal is to find a cure and to go out of business. But um, <laughs> yeah. like we went into business to go out of business. Yeah, exactly. But um, we, we, what we're really zoning in on now, a lot of different stuff that's over my pay rate to understand. But we're, we're zoning in on, on what are the precursors to Parkinson's. Who's going to get it before they get it? Yeah. And then we can give them, treat them with, a, with something, hopefully figure out some, some way to, to forestall it. And stop symptoms from ever developing. Yeah. Stop progression from ever happening. And it may not be a cure, but I would, I would take it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if I was someone coming up. So I, it, um, in terms of immediate treatments, we've, we've passed some things through the FDA already, and, and we've made a lot of progress. That's amazing Exciting. what you're doing. It's just Exciting unbelievable. Stuff. That's so cool. I, I... <laughs> Thank you for doing that. That's cool. Let's talk about the book. Here you are, mostly plants. Uh, this is, uh, you wrote this with your sister and your mom? With my mother and my two sisters, Lori and Dana. How cool is and, that? Yeah, it was, and it's my brother, book, Michael, wrote the, um, the foreword for it. Yeah, oh, that's what it's kind of based off, of, right? His quote? It's his quote, his haiku, eat foods. Is it a haiku? Yeah. It, it, well, I don't, it's a Cohen. It is a haiku, because it's, it's got the right amount of words. Oh, is that the right amount of syllables? <laughs> is it yeah. five, seven, five? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, it yeah. says, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. That's what he said. <laughs> And uh, it's a great quote. And uh, what is flexitarian? Because I've never even heard so of it. So flexitarian is a mostly vegetarian diet. It's primarily vegetarian, but you can still eat some meats and fishes if, if, you, you know, if you're a, someone who loves meat. You don't have to completely give it up. Yeah. So these are recipes that are mostly plant-based, but there are also recipes that have fish in them and meat in them. And it's also about just kind of changing the ratio of the protein meat on your plate. So you have primarily grains and, and vegetables and fruits, and then just a smaller amount of the 
meat protein. Have you always been a uh, flexitarian? I was vegetarian for most of my life. Yeah. And, um, and then with my second pregnancy, I just couldn't get enough iron or protein. It was really difficult for me. So then I started to slowly add a little bit of meat back in. But So now I'm, most, I'm mostly vegetarian. Mostly plants. I'm a flexitarian. Hence the title, yeah. And Michael I, also didn't realize it, but he is flexitarian. <laughs> <laughs> When did you when did you realize that you were flexitarian? The day I realized I was flexitarian, when I, when I could flex more than I. Could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're just flexing, yeah. Uh, but uh, have you have you test drive uh, all these yeah, recipes? I, I, this is what my life tastes like. Yeah, this is, that's it's, fantastic. Uh, it's fantastic. It's like uh, um, yeah. I get to taste all those recipes before they before they hit the pages, uh, and, and they're great. And the only thing that I had to learn not to do was, and this is I'm a Canadian, I'm a schlub, middle class guy, and so I put salt and pepper on everything. So oh, yeah. the last thing you want to do is if your wife is a great cook and makes Wait, a great meal. you put salt and pepper before you taste it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I yeah. do that too, yeah. Well, it comes and I put salt and pepper on it. And then, you know, what, what is this? Uh, out of habit, yeah, you just have to do that. Coincidence. It'll go well with the pepper that I'm putting on it. <laughs> but, uh, so, but you don't do that. No. I say assume you I've do, seasoned it well. <laughs> don't do that, yeah, if you have a great cook for a wife, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. i got to say, I, I love cookbooks, but sometimes I read a cookbook and I go, I'm never going to make that, I can't do that. Uh, there's things in here that I can do, and I'm an idiot, and uh, this, I love it. Uh, it's a great book, and the photos are great, too. Uh, congratulations on this book. Uh, it's for, uh, available for pre-order right now, you guys, mostly plants. Uh, Tracy Pollan, Michael J. Fox, everybody. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.